I just want to say, you know, we, this is why we have the forum on microbial threats. Um, vaccine hesitancy is tech, goes right to the heart of the complexity of issues that we deal with in global health and national public health every time we hold a workshop. Um, health is a deeply personal issue for all of us. The choices around health are deeply personal, yet with vaccination, our choices affect everybody more than uh, many other aspects of, of um, health. And that's the, the dilemma that you're all tackling with. And what an amazing lineup of speakers throughout this week that have shown us and, and really taught us some lessons. And, and these words do, the, the final words that you listed do sum up a lot of this. Building trust with people who don't agree with you on this issue, with people who've, who've been um, given misinformation, disinformation, willful um, organizations are out there and, and in a nefarious way to persuade people not to take vaccines when it's for their benefit and ours. Um, building trust with those communities and we've seen examples of solutions throughout the week of how to do that and it's for everything from activism to, to governmental um, information and communication where everything points to openness, honesty and transparency uh, in the way we communicate but to do that often and when um, when approached and confronted with misinformation to correct it and correct it forcefully in some cases sensitively in others um, and I you know it's it's illuminating to hear all of your expertise and I think one very positive thing that I want to leave us all with, you know COVID has taught us a lot and it's taught the public a lot that what we do personally affects our neighbors and what our neighbors do affects us directly in an obvious way. And vaccine hesitancy is part of that lesson. And I'm, I'm optimistic that once we're through this, once we've got our COVID vaccines and got our government campaign to, to um, promote better vaccine uptake of COVID vaccines and the other ones that are, that are being um, um, neglected, that we will see a future where the people, where the public are better informed and understand how individual actions affect all of us. So I want to thank all of our speakers. I want to thank our organizers, the, the excellent forum staff, my co-chairs and the forum sponsors for making this possible. Um, a a, a write-up of this workshop's proceedings will um, come very quickly. We're very efficient at that these days. And I want to thank the audience for your excellent questions and comments in the chat box. We've, we've looked at all of them and absorbed all of them. Um, and, and, you know, for, for a very um, active group. So thank you, everybody. Um, mark your calendars for winter. We don't know the exact dates yet, but we know it's going to be winter um, for our next workshop on how we're going to systematize One Health in our approach to preparing and responding to infectious disease outbreaks, another critical issue. And by the time we launch that workshop, the public will also understand a lot more about why diseases like COVID emerge and how we can prevent them and respond to them. So thank you everybody again. I'm gonna officially close this workshop and thank you for your attention for, throughout this week. Cheers. <laughs>